Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish. And uh, today I've brought uh, uh, another problem from Pathfinder. This was uh, a doubt of one of my students, so I decided to do a video on this one. So this is uh, uh, problem number thirty-one from Check Your Understanding Rotational Mechanics. So let's uh, read out this uh, problem and then see uh, see how we can proceed with this. So let me formally read. So a body of circular section rolling on a horizontal track with a velocity of five meter per second crosses a slightly elevated curved section AB of track in time delta t is equal to five seconds without slipping anywhere. So this is a body and has got a circular section. It is not given whether it's a solid cylinder, it's a hollow cylinder, or for that matter, it could uh, not even be comp uh, it could be cylindrical shell also. And it's not given whether it's radially. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, the mass distribution is exactly not known, but it has got a circular section. Uh, although uh, it's not uh, okay. So uh, its speed is given, and it crosses from A to B in five seconds. And this section is only very slightly elevated, not very large. So we can safely assume that slope is not very large anywhere. Okay, and it crosses in five seconds without slipping anywhere. Okay. And it's given there is no slipping, pure rolling only. On the elevated section, change in gravitational potential energy at any place is much smaller than initial kinetic energy of the body. So this only, uh, so kinetic energy and the change in potential energy over here is very very small compared to the initial kinetic energy. Okay. The length of the section AB is L is equal to 20 meters. So this whole length is 20 meters. And now on the horizontal track, consider a slightly depressed section CD. Profile of which is mirror image of section AB. So this was our initial track, and now we have a mirror image track of AB. Okay, at this profile is mirror image. Okay, if the same body enters uh, the section CD rolling with same velocity u, how much time will it take to move from point C to point D? So if we give the same speed to on this track, we have to find that what will be the time taken in going from C to D. Okay. And total length is given and its initial speed is given as how much? 5 meter per second. Okay. So I hope the problem statement is clear. If you want, you can uh, try out this problem on your own. And then you can have a look at my analysis. I'll get into my analysis right away. Okay. Let's see how to solve this one. So now uh, consider uh, thickness of uh, dx along this path. We'll be comparing the time taken for going along a, a horizontal path uh, and the time taken along the uh, convex path and the time taken along concave path for the same thickness dx. We'll see what are how the time these three times are related. That's what we'll see first of all, and then we'll try to get the overall relation on the entire track. Let's see what happens. So even though the moment of inertia of the body is not given, we can still write the kinetic energy of the body as k is k times mv square where k is some appropriate constant depending on the moment of inertia of the body why because suppose it were solid cylinder then what will be the kinetic energy that will be half into 3 by 2 mr square into omega square right for solid cylinder and omega into r is v and therefore you get uh, this uh, this becomes 3 by 4 mv square right similarly if you have a hollow cylinder then it will become i think 2 mv square or whatever so uh, you know that uh, irrespective of what exact section looks like whether it's hollow or solid or a sh shell the kinetic energy is definitely be go of, of the form k times mv square okay and k is an appropriate constant depending on the moment of inertia of the body now considering a width dx of the track at a place where local height of the track ab is h so now i'm considering uh, this point so this thickness is dx and since the angle is small so inclined thickness and horizontal thickness both can be taken as dx and the height over uh, here is h so initial speed was u and since it has gained some potential energy the speed is going to be a little less and then we'll try to estimate the speed and we can apply appropriate approximations binomial approximation we'll see what happens so by energy conservation we can say that initial kinetic energy k times mu square must be equal to k times mv square plus mgh here v is the speed at this point and u was the speed here and this is the height h okay so i hope this equation is clear and if you rearrange this equation, you can cancel an m everywhere and then you can divide the whole thing by k. And if you do that, then you get uh, the speed at uh, that section as u into 1 minus gh upon 2 ku square. Why I have done this? Because you know that h is very small. 
so i can take u common outside and then it becomes 1 minus something small and then you can use binomial approximation the power half becomes this okay and now time for crossing the thickness dx will be what so dx divided by speed thickness is dx and speed is v so you divide the two and once again you can apply binomial approximation so uh, 1 minus something to the power minus 1 then it becomes 1 plus that same thing right so once again in dx by u 1 upon u i have again put the binomial approximation and this is what you get after binomial approximation okay and uh, if you this so this is the time dt for crossing this thickness uh, when we are moving along track ab now if you see the track cd since track cd is just mirror image of uh, track ab so from horizontal if this height is uh, h so here this depth will be h so that means what the results for c can be simply obtained by replacing h by minus h on track cd whatever we got for ab there h should be replaced with minus h to get the similar results for track cd so i have not done the whole maths again but simply replaced here h by minus h and let i have called that uh, time by d tau so dt is for a uh, track ab and d tau is for the same thickness on track cd so d tau will be what same expression dx by u and one comes as it is and then uh, plus sign becomes a minus sign why because this h is to be replaced by minus h so this is the time taken along the path cd which is curving uh, uh, which is concave path okay and if, if it were a straight uh, straight path let d uh, capital t be the time for crossing the same thickness for a flat track so on a flat track you know that speed is not going to change so d capital t will be simply dx upon u okay so now look carefully equation 3 4 and 5 so what do you think uh, what we can do with this so if you see here there is plus gh upon 2k u square here there is minus gh upon 2k u square so if you add 3 and 4 you know that this term is going to cancel off and you will be left with 2 dx by u which is nothing but twice of dt so I've just used these three equations and then uh, from these three equations I get dt plus d tau becomes twice d capital T okay capital T is for flat paths uh, dt is for the convex path and d tau is for the concave path and therefore if you just integrate equation 6 what you will get so dt becomes delta t d tau becomes delta tau and uh, dt becomes delta t and therefore just rearrange this and you can solve for delta tau delta tau will become twice delta t minus small uh, minus uh, delta small t okay and what is delta t now delta capital t is the time taken along the flat path and if the total length is l and uh, speed is u then what will be the uh, total time so you know that delta capital t will be simply l by u so that's what i've substituted over here for delta t i've put l by u and minus delta small t comes as it is okay and now you just need to put in the values so l is given as 20 meters and u is given as 5 meter per second and this 2 is as it is and delta t is given small t is given as 5 seconds so just put in the values you get the value of delta tau as uh, 3 seconds so this is our final answer so that means you will uh, the time taken along the concave path will be 3 seconds okay so uh, for the convex path 5 seconds for the flat path 4 seconds and for the concave path it is three seconds so that's my analysis of the problem uh, i hope you like this video and if you did like this video please do give it a thumbs up and uh, uh, do share this video as much as possible with your friends uh, who are preparing for je through whatsapp or telegram or uh, discord or whatever um, uh, social networking uh, media you might be using uh, for uh, or rather academic uh, for your purpose of academic networking please do share this with the students who might benefit from this video and last but not the least please do subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed because that is what keeps me motivated to do newer and newer videos and uh, thanks a lot for watching this video keep coming back to my channel more awesome stuff will be coming uh, in the upcoming videos and uh, that's it from my side for this and i'll see you in the next video uh, and uh, god bless you all thank you